hello welcome back if you're new to this channel ensure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so that you can be notified every time we post a video all right in this new video we are going to be looking at how to deploy a flask application basically flask is a micro web framework uh, that is written in python it's lightweight and also easy to run all right so with me here i have a very simple project that uh, i'm going to use for demonstration so it's basically uh, rendering uh, an index.html if we visit the home page and if we visit the about us it will render an about.html it's uh, pretty simple so uh, we also have the, the various folders here one that is holding our static files basically for now it just has the css but in your case it may have the javascript and the images right then this other folder is the templates folder which uh, holds our templates the index about in your case may have other files right then another important file that we need to to check um, especially before deployment is the requirement.txt file so this comprises of uh, the web dependencies that are being used in this project so in case you haven't populated the requirement.txt file what you need to do is that uh, let me just show you around so the, basically this is where the server has been uh, created the server that is currently serving the website and we can have a look at the website so uh, we are able to access the website on localhost and port 5000 right so basically this is the home page this is how it uh, shows then we can navigate to about us right very simple it's a very simple website uh, but it's good for uh, demonstration purposes so on our terminal let us just terminate the current uh, session and we clear the screen right so uh, if you haven't populated uh, the requirements.txt file this is how you need to do it and uh, in my assumption is that you are running your website on a virtual environment so this is the one that is uh, holding the current the dependencies for this particular web application right so the way to 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 inspect the current dependency for this web application we have pip rest right so this will rest all the dependencies that exist for this particular website that you have installed on this virtual environment all right so uh, we need to push this to our requirements.txt file so the way to do that we have pip freeze there's also another command that uh, will give us a list of these dependencies so uh, in this case we use pip freeze then we use that sign the, the greater than sign then we have requirements uh, requirements dot txt right so in case this file exists it will override the content in case it doesn't exist it will create a new one and push this content inside all right so in my case i don't need to do that all right so the next thing is uh we are going to go back to our terminal or rather to our cpanel if you do not have a cpanel i'll be sure to give you a link of where you can purchase um, a hosting service that will give you access to a cpanel all right so i'm already logged into my cpanel and this is where we want to uh, deploy our flask application okay and we will be deploying that on a subdomain i have a subdomain here ready to take up our uh, ready to take up this uh, web application so as of now it currently doesn't have any content so uh, the first thing we need to do is to navigate to uh, python we have uh, a section to create python files this is the section all right i have some few web applications here but then will be using this option to create our uh, application all right so what you need to do just click on that then let me just copy what we have here 
to copy that then in here let's give it some time to load all right so this is the interface where you are to create your new python application so the first thing you are supposed to select is the app python version that you want to use for this application so let us just click on this drop down and we see we have uh, quite a number of versions so many a times you get one of them being recommended but uh, in my experience uh, select either the latest or the latest minus one or two uh, so in most cases i usually go with the latest minus one so check using that one and we are going to see how to check if actually the version you use works right so for the application route let us use our subdomain right so what happens we already have this folder and, and uh, that will be our application route but you can define any other uh, folder to act as your application route here right so for the application url we are also going to select our subdomain that is car.dtechnologies.com then for these other two fields you do not need to enter anything here also if you had some environment variables ensure to add them here if you don't have any let us proceed and click create Let's give it time all right so the error we are getting is because we clicked on create several times but i believe the app has been created so the way to prove that this version is uh, in order you just come to uh, the subdomain of the domain and try to reload and should you get this then that version should work for you unless it doesn't work with your current dependencies of your project so in that case you can just go back destroy the current uh, uh, the current version and recreate a new one uh, using a different version until you get it right so a common error that you can get here is an error 543 if you get an error 543 then be sure that that version does not work so try a new one all right so at this point we can now upload our projects file all right so something we need to do before before we upload our projects file uh, basically when you are coding your application this is what you'll have but then we need to do something to our project there is a line we need to add that uh, will enable us to to deploy this uh, web application to a server so the line we need to add is application is equals to app this does not change anything on your app in fact if we go back and check your app is still okay all right it's not running because we terminated the server this is where we had the server so let us initiate that again go back to our browser reload and you see that line of code that we added doesn't change anything all right so uh, with me here i have the project pushed on github this is the method i recommend when deploying your web application it's good to have them on github right so what we need to do uh, if you are you you are not sure of how to push your web application to github we have done a video on that please check the link above and see how to push your web application to github all right alternatively if it turns out to be hard then you can easily compress your project this is what we have we have already compressed the project here and uh, the way to go about uploading your files on the server so we have already created the application then we will go for file manager all right Then you need to check for the root folder that you set remember the root folder we set it or the application root as this one so there is the same folder that you need to locate so basically it has some few it 
has some few files that were created once we created the Python application. So uh, in case you don't have GitHub or you just don't want to use that root, please select upload when you are under this uh, root folder, click upload, or open such a page, click select, and then you need to navigate back to the, uh, the location where you have created your uh, the zip file of your project you need you actually need to zip your project before you upload it so there's the zip file then just select open and it will start uploading uh, the project then just wait for it till it changes the color it's actually complete but you need to wait for it up to this point then just click back all right so that's one of the method method of getting your files on the server all right so in this case you just so in this case you just um, you just extract the files and you have your files ready for consumption all right so, so in this case we are just going to right click extract extract them here Right, so this is what we have. We already have our files. So that's how to upload your files through uh, the file manager. Right, then I'll be demonstrating how you can use what is on your GitHub. Actually, this is the recommended method, and it will work if you have access to a terminal. So just go back to your C panel, search for terminal. This is the terminal. All right so uh, back to your python application just select on this link all right let's copy it to the clipboard back to the terminal just paste it there enter so this activates the virtual environment for this particular subdomain or this domain then and uh, navigates to that particular folder the root folder for our web application then back to our github you need to click on this drop down get this and copy it to your clipboard right then back to the terminal we need to have git cron brief you know how to cron uh, a github web, a repo, repository then paste then cron web application so this one was pretty easy that is as long as you have terminal all right then back to our file manager just reload and the and uh, the files that have been fetched from github are here so basically these are the files so in case you use this method just select everything and move then just delete this section and confirm the move so we will have what we have here so all the files will be here right so that was the first thing of uh, ensuring that you are able to upload the files on on cpanel right once we do that the next thing that we need to do is to install our dependencies so remember the dependencies are in the requirement.txt files so we have two methods of doing that and uh, if you have access to a terminal in this case you will simply type in pip install then hyphen r requirements.txt press enter just give it time to complete all right in some few seconds or minutes it will be depend with uh, how many uh, dependencies you have so in some few we have already been able to install that the other option of you know, installing the dependencies just go back to uh, the python application you're currently working on scroll down and there is some section to do that so under configurations file there is this option right of run pip install so what we need to do we need to add our file here so we have requirements.txt file basically this is the file that has our dependencies so ensure to give to write the correct name here then click add all right so once we do that then you realize that this is now active click on the drop down click on the requirement of txt file and it will start installing 
of their modules for you so we have already installed that and if we check if we check if the website is available online we are not able to access it yet so we need to do some more edits so the edits that are currently remaining let us go back to our file manager under the, the root folder candlededtechnologies.com so we need to do some edits to this file right this particular one this was created when we created the project the python project here all right so don't bother here because you have already installed the uh, the modules via the, via the terminal but it should run until it completes right we are going to review it back right so the next thing that we need to check so back to this file we need to edit let us edit all right so here we need to delete everything and we need to say from app import application all right remember app is our startup file so this is basically the the file that has our our code all right and remember we also added something else to that we added a line all right so basically it seems i had not added that line before i compressed the, the files so we need to have application is equals to app all right then back here we have said from this app we import application all right let us save the changes let us, i think the changes here have been saved all right the next thing we need to go is to to this app click on we can just restart it at that point then give it some time right our app has been restarted let's go back let's reload and there we go we have been able to access our website then let's click on about us it's still accessible all right so that's simply how to deploy a flask application on c panel thank you for watching if you find this video helpful ensure to share it with your network give it a thumbs up drop uh, your thoughts in the comment section and also ensure to subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye